All right, here we are, the first day of school. Take a look at outside. It is pouring rain. This is gonna be interesting. Indoor recess on the first day of school. Whoa. Let's look at what I got for my teacher swag today. Oh, let's see if I can wear. I've got a shirt that says fourth grade on it. Woo, and I've got some brand new shoes. Check them out. Perfect for our school colors, which is red. And we are all ready to go. The kids who weren't here on Me the Teacher Night, they still have their supplies, um, their glow stick. And then I've added, um, this is a little welcome to fourth grade from last year's students. And this student has already been here. And if they've been here, uh, what I had them do this year as a little activity for Meet the Teacher Night was to make a potato athlete. <laughs> because on Friday, we are going to have a potato Olympics. Um, and I'm going to use it for the, oppor the opportunity to introduce comparing, um, that comparing means subtracting. We're also, I'm also going to use it as an introduction to graphing. Graphing is, being able to read graphs is super important in fourth grade science, but we don't really teach it in math. So I want to be integrating graphs with that. And I just want to show you the front of the room. So I'm ready for my first um, writing lesson, which is where I introduce the acronym CUPS. Um, and so basically the first day I just figure out what what conventions do they already know? So CUPS, if you're not familiar, stands for Capitalization, Usage, Punctuation, and Spelling. So what are some rules that they already know? This is my first day schedule. You can see it's very, very blank um, because I don't really know how long things are gonna take. Um, and we're not really doing any formal academics, but it just does give them an idea of the important stuff for kids, which is when's lunch, when's recess. So we've got our welcome instructions on, oh, I just noticed a typo, <laughs> unpack you stuff. Well, good thing I checked this out. Um, that's the four things that they are going to do when they first come in. And over here, I've got more um, potatoes for the kids who weren't here during the teacher night. So hopefully at some point during the day that there, there'll be some extra time that they can make their potato athlete. This year I have veggie straws for my first day lesson, which is um, don't crush my chips. So basically what I've done, I don't tell the kids this, but I've pre-crushed some of these. We pass them out. We talk about how all the bags look the same on the outside. And that's the same with people. People look they look like they're fine on the outside, but then when you open it up, some people have had their chips crushed. And so it's just kind of a lesson on empathy. The kids who happen to get a crushed chip bag, they can, or a crushed veggie straw bag, trying to be more healthy, um, they can trade it out for one that's not um, crushed. Or sometimes they like it, they think it's pretty fun. So here are a few first day read alouds that I do. I do a lot of read alouds the first day. It's a great, um, sort of buffer activity. Um, this one is Wolfie the Bunny, um, uh, which is I do in conjunction with the Don't Crush My Chips lesson. And it's about um, a little baby wolf who's adopted by bunnies and his big sister knows he's a wolf and she thinks for sure he's going to eat them all and he doesn't. So we talk about how the, how the outside can be different from who you are on the inside. And then some other first day read alouds. These more go with reading many lessons in the first day. Calvin Can't Fly, um, about a, a crow that saves his flock because he learns how to read. And then Amber on the Mountain, which is about a girl who doesn't learn to read until she's, you know, looks like about a third or a fourth or a fifth grader. So, um, that's all set up for the first day. So I think I'm ready to go. We really need all this rain, but boy, I wish, I really, really wish it wasn't raining. It is really raining hard out there. And last night we had thunder and lightning like all night long. 
So I bet you between being excited about the first day and the thunder and lightning, I'm not sure how much sleep people got. So, all right, I have my mask ready to go to match the outfit. And here goes.